we are here at the river finally for the fishing trip we finally got everything together we're down a boat some sanity and everything else but we're here all right so trot line is a simple thing guys what you have is you have a you have a large weight down here okay uh 50 hooks on a main line the main line is probably what 100 yards and say every yard there's a side line that comes off of it off of a swivel side lines aren't long enough to touch each other and those are what all the hooks are on and you throw out the one of the end weights the end weight goes down to the bottom and then it starts pulling out all the hooks and there's like a few extra four ounce weights along the uh along the line to make sure that your line stays taut and it doesn't get rolled up on the bottom of the river what we're going to do is just go ahead and bait all these hooks you know where your line is that's a good question. So we drop the main line, the main weight, and then all the almost all the line comes out, and I'll have to attach another line or another weight to the end of the line to keep it taut. Okay, keep it tight. To that weight, I attach one of those yellow buoys so we can find our line in the morning. That's how we pull it up in the morning. We put the weight in, and then we put each hook in the box as we go. Then we catch fish. And the goal of this is to catch at as least many fish as possible like five or ten catfish per line would be awesome three's a slow day and none sometimes happens so that's how you trawl and fish in a in a in, in a quick little clip i guess yeah wait hooks tie it out throw it out and i'll show you how it works in the morning how long will we be out there on the boat putting the trout line the trout? If everything if we were to go super fast and everything go perfectly right we could probably do it in 20 minutes. Okay. If that's so everything yeah. perfect. Most 45? Uh, if we're taking our time, enjoying ourselves, it'll be like an hour. All right, hold on, let me show the folks back home how we've had to jerry-rig this. So what you're looking at right here is a starter solenoid. So basically that connects together to jump the starter. And usually that works with just the key, but that doesn't work. So we're just doing it with a screwdriver. So here's take two. That's right. <laughs> That's jank. <laughs> so we're betting on how, how fast the boat's gonna go. Do you think we should play the Price is Right rules or just the closest one? Closest one. What you got, Kayla? I'm going 27 still. 27, and what'd you say, Levi, 30? 30. We're going to be using a mobile device to GPS track us to determine the speed. There is no speedometer on the boat. Yeah. Okay. okay. That being said, it's a 50... Let me do my calculation. A 50 horsepower boat. Uh, I weigh a lot. Times three of me. Plus one Levi. Plus some fishing stuff. Minus my baby. Uh, love my life. Carry the two. We're doing this 29, 29, 29, yeah, 29. All right, I'm gonna say 24. Oh! That's the smartest number you could have picked. Your calculations were 29. So we got 27, 30, 29, and 24. Yep, I hope I win. We are fishing, the boat runs. Levi's a static. Let me show you how this stuff actually works. A part of people back home trot lining, you have to wet all the, like, I guess hinges, all the line, everything, so that it doesn't stick to each other because you brought it in wet, right? So this is a part of that. He's wetting all that line, getting it nice and good, ready to rock and roll. Go! In all of the excitement of setting up trot lines for the first time this year, I forgot to record the speed trial of the boat. I just want everyone to know out there that it was 29 miles an hour. Logan was right. There's no reason to fact check that or even think that that might not be the truth.
Morning. We're late. Are you about to cut it off? Yeah. There's not even a plug into the truck. Uh. We didn't lose the tail light. We never had the tail light. They just didn't know that. This is Logan McCauley reporting from the Tennessee River. I would like everyone to note we are missing a mirror. We are missing a mirror. Uh, reports are coming in saying that Caleb hit a turkey on the way up here. You know, out of all the trips we do, well, he, just hit a light pole and doesn't want to it. he might have hit a light pole. We don't know. But out of all the trips we do, this is the worst one to miss a mirror. Let's go catch some Kit Kats. Let's go catch some Kit Kats. Do I? You got the key turned? Thank you. The key's got to be on. We learned that. All the hooks clean? Yeah. We may set it out too early. Maybe. Oh, mm -hmm. we got one. It's somewhere. So you just get ready to dip net. So you're going to come up from the back of the fish and you just want to get it yeah. this part yeah. out of the water. You won't be able to lift them out, maybe. Maybe. If it's Depends on how, how big she is. I'm going to bring her to you, buddy. Alright. See her? Dip net. Go. Up, 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 up. In the boat. Out of the net. Out of the net. Dump the net. Dump the net. There you go. Ooh. Not bad. Huh. First fish on the boat. There you go. So that was about halfway out. Maybe something a little deeper too. Well, what the hell? Oh no, something's pulling against me. Get it for me, because I also got the weight. Get it, get it, get it, get it. Pull it. Shoot it. Shoot it, Troy. Bang, bang. I've never... you never seen an alligator guard? Oh, he's, he's alive. I don't think so. I see his fins moving. Watch that mouth. Oh, he's heavy. Don't get him in the boat. <laughs> well, I was going to show him off to the people. His the thing eye, ain't alive. His eyeballs are gone. One of his eyeballs Oh my gone. god, he's heavy as shit. Oh my god. He's got to weight, like 50 pounds. The death rattle. Oh. You hear that in uh, adults sometimes. The death rattle got him. <coughs> that was huge. The thing was huge and it was kind of funny to watch. We used to try to catch those as kids. <laughs> I wasn't going to do that. But, will the weight slide back in? You know, we'll see. Alright, Loganites. We've almost hit 100 subscribers. Awesome job. However, we need to keep going. So make sure you hit like and subscribe. And make sure you show it to your niece and your nephew this time. We did our moms last time. We're doing our niece and nephew this time. We're going to get everybody subscribed. Because uh, what's the dude's name? It doesn't matter what his name is. We don't like him. We don't, we cool. don't even mention his name. Death to that dude. <laughs> I don't know if we can say that. <laughs> I mean, the other Logans are going down is all I have to say. Watch yourself. All right, Levi. Go get him. All right, yeah. Oh, shit, little guy. Where are you, fishy, fishy, fishy? Oh, it's a big one. Man, I love that sound. Chase it. Go, 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 go
Go on. In the boat, in the boat, in the boat. Come on. Got one coming up. Small. <laughs> uh, I think for him. I mean, that was debatable. That one, I'll throw some back. What's on him? Spots, because he's young. It's a flathead. Send it. Is he going to be your pet? No. No. Three, two, one, launch! <laughs> you know, they say that's the, one of the most humane ways of filling uh, lakes with fish. Is catching, catch and release in your own pond? No, 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 no. Dropping them. You know that's how they fill them out in. Yeah, like they drop west. them out of the air. They drop them out of the air because that's the most, the least traumatic way. That's really? Claim, yeah. Yeah, because air travel is smoother than truck travel. Yeah. That's it. Not horrible. Uh, that's good. Yeah. Not great. I am teetotally happy with that. We're about to go catch some fish. Or lay the groundwork for catching fish. He's going to be a rock star one day. Give us a uh, boat report. Boat report? Yeah, like up here in the boat. You just gave it. No, no, we gotta get more report. I'm riding on the bow. In the boat. In the boat. Look at me, I'm riding on the boat. There's only really three rolls to this. Yeah. You got loading and putting them out, and then you got the prep team, that's what we're gonna call that. Yeah. And then my whole goal is to back it out in as straight as a line as possible. To keep it lined up. And not get hit by another boat. Yeah. <laughs> and not get hit or get hit by another boat. I love the cut up water bottle. It's a Gatorade bottle. It's got to be a specific diameter to work right. The more you know. <laughs> Jennifer, you set out lines for the first time. We have to work Indeed. either Thanksgiving. How do you feel about us? Um, I'm ready to catch some catfish tomorrow morning when we pull them up. We also saw a bald eagle. So that was exciting. All right, Loganites. So we are post catching fish. We are cooking fish. Okay. We're cooking skeddies because, you know, fish Fridays come with skeddy. So if you're a true catfish connoisseur, you're going to use the Louisiana fish fry over here. Okay. You bread it. You don't do any kind of uh, like milk wash. You just keep the catfish wet. Then you bread it or coat it, I guess. Not really bread it. Coat it and then deep fry it. And you know, I'll be honest, our oil's not really hot enough, but we're cooking it long enough to make it count. Is that pot big enough to stretch over two eyes? It's no. not quite big enough. It's just the perfect size to suck. That's <laughs> <laughs> a suck. How you kind of suck? Uh, it don't. Nothing fancy. <clears throat> you just wrap it and let it be. That's what we usually do. That way it'll get knotted up the next time you get the oil. Have you done this before? <laughs> Yeah, but we did it quite a bit different. We usually done it on uh, smaller rivers like Hatchie River. Eagle! Daddy used to take us out on Two of them. Good job, Lance. Where's our America tax? <clears throat> All, right. All right. So when are we going to do this again? <laughs> I'll be There's a little a bit more prepared yeah, actually, next time. I actually did have some uh, time for off. Here we go. Fish coming up. There you go, that's a big one. Good job. Oh. There you go. There you go. Nice. Nice. Do you just expect your car to break down? And it's like, yes, yes I do. Yeah, you <laughs> yes. carry a spare tire yeah. for a reason. Man, these fools have two or three spare cars. Mark, <laughs> so Mark I was like 16 and was telling this to grown adults okay <laughs> i was like do you not like i keep tools i have an extra car like what kind of crap man you yeah never you never know dude yeah. you know it's kind of yeah. like well, you if you have to take a laxative you take a roll of toilet paper with yeah, you. right <laughs> why <laughs> you got know, <laughs> shit in your pants if you don't watch it <laughs> i'm just saying same logic right yeah Here same logic right. old drum head so if you look 
for the people back home that rock has been there for at least two decades and we use it as a marker the old duck blind right. there's only one post of it left but we still like to use it Oh, look at here. Oh, yeah. Old drum he came off the hook though. Before we got him in the boat. Wow. Okay. Levi? You want to toss him? You want to toss him? Huh. There you go. Alright, it's the first fish on the Levi line. Get it, get it, get it. Get it, get it. Nice. nice one. Did y'all see a barge when y'all were out here on, on the beach? You yeah, know, sure. come to think of it, I didn't see a barge at all out here. I haven't I seen a barge since I've up here. We used to have yeah. to... Yeah, we would have to, like, stop running lines and, like, run back to the edge. Sure, edit. get out of the way. Yeah, because of the barge. Well, we wouldn't get out of, we wouldn't get out of their way. It was, we were in a small, such a small boat, we had to face the their right wake. The wake, yeah, they want the wake to get you. This is how you fillet fish. Three-step process. Caleb's a master, so we let him do it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, Ted Yar is... Oh, oh, are you okay? <gasps> Baby! Dick? Just slice Good. his finger open. Just a little bit. Just a little bit? That is not just a little bit, babe. You are, like, hurt. Okay, anyway. We're gonna run along. What'd we learn? <laughs> Don't catch the tree. Don't touch the tree. Can you feel it though? Or did you just put it on there pretty tight? Oh, the look on your face was I can't feel it anyway because I just cut the shit out of it. <laughs> Damn baby, I think you've taped it up. I'm only get fish guts in it. You're still gonna clean fish? Yeah, well, I have to. Here, rip that corner right there. What do you think this is? He just sliced his hand. And? I always stop right there so you still have a little bit of skin left. All right, guys, it's the McCulley Creed, dated August 29th, 2015. So I was 16, and Logan was 20. 20? Yeah. Yeah. So it says, I do hereby promise on my honor as a McCulley to live up to the three H's, hungry, happy, horny, to always and faithfully hunt, fish, camp, and be good stewards of this earth, and to strive to live up to God's word in everything we do. Logan and Caleb McCulley. What there it is, y'all. <laughs> I knew it existed. I knew it existed. I forgot about it until now. You should get that tattooed across your back. <laughs> <laughs> Just the three H's. <laughs> Just the three H's. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because it, so it's, a, it's, a, it's a gift. It's a treasure. Dude, I didn't even remember this. You didn't? I don't, I don't remember this. At all. I don't remember. Like, I remember sitting here going, like, we need to make a McCully Creed. Yeah, it's a great idea. And then this is it. <laughs> Hungry, happy, and horny. It's my three, three ages. <laughs> Remember, Loganites, always keep your corn on the cob. <laughs> and that's how it is. If you liked my video, please like, and subscribe, and share with a friend. It really helps out. I really do appreciate it, guys. Thank you for watching. I love the chase and the hunt, and I set the pace when I'm running. I always take what I want, and I always give it 100. Don't need a bank, no, I'm funded. Play the game like it's nothing. I'm always thankful. Damn, he just threw that on you. I didn't mean, yeah. to, hit. I didn't mean to hit you. I didn't mean to hit you now. I love you. Yeah, sure you I do. love you. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I love you. Not like you used to. Why? Why you say that? Why you say that, Ben? Because you done when you got an old lady. I might have.